afternoon, a computer alert in a crash. You'd expect to shell out a little bit of cash for getting some help getting back online, but before you put your trust into a, and your money into a computer repair company, check out what our undercover investigation revealed when we went shopping around for a fair and honest deal. Here's KCAL 9's David Goldstein. They keep us rolling on the information superhighway. But when your computer crashes... Yeah, it won't. It's not working. Where can you go for repairs? How much is it to check it? And how do you know it's the right price? She asked you how much to fix it, and you said $275. Hi, I want to bring my computer. It's not turning on. It's not working. With a hidden camera, we took computers to eight repair shops in our area. It's not working. It just won't turn on. To see if they would fix a problem correctly. None of them knew we'd already had the computers checked out by an expert. Walter Taylor teaches computer repair at L.A. Trade and Technical College. This is the hard drive. He ran a complete series of tests. Everything is fine on the computer. Everything is fine. They were working perfectly. That is, until we disconnected this cable. It's called the ribbon cable, or IDE. It connects the hard drive to the motherboard. Keyboard failure. That shut down the brains to the computer, but Taylor said it shouldn't take a rocket scientist to figure it out. Do you think that the average computer repair person should see that? With visual inspection, everyone should be able to see it. Let's see. Hi, I wanted to pick up my computer. At the Best Buy in West Hollywood, where they advertise the Geek Squad for repairs, the geeks missed this one. This box is bad. They said we needed one of these, a new power supply. They couldn't fix it because they didn't stock the part, but they were sure that was the problem. There's nothing else minor wrong with it. Yeah, that's about it. Best Buy responded saying computer malfunctions can be hard to pinpoint, so problems are misdiagnosed on occasion. In this case, it looks like we did misdiagnose the problem. At Circuit City in Canoga Park, they fixed it for $59.99. Remember, all they had to do was push in the connection, but they made it sound like a lot more. It was a jumper set wrong on the hard drive. A jumper set? We also took our computer to the Comp USA in Burbank. Hi, I'm here to pick up my computer. Their minimum charge is $119.99, but they did diagnose and fix the problem correctly. There's an IE cable in there that connects uh, your motherboard to your hard drive and it was loose. Fries in Manhattan Beach charged $69.99 and was also right on target. You yeah. have that cable loose. Yeah. And so was Torrance Computer Repair. Do I owe you anything? It was so simple for them, they even fixed it for free. Hi, I dropped off a computer. But at BMI Computers in West Hollywood, the owner, Ben, said we had a power short. The main board is bad. The main bad. board, okay. Uh, the hard drive is bad. He suggested taking parts from another computer to repair it. How much is that to fix? It's going to be $275. $275. But minutes later, when I questioned Ben, he denied it. Okay. It worked perfectly before no, we brought no, it in that, your that, store. That not, then you wanted to charge two hundred and seventy-five dollars no, no, for I, repairs no, 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 that not, weren't needed. I did not. I did not say you know we, we were going to charge two hundred seventy-five dollars. He claims he said it wasn't worth it to fix our computer, but according to our expert, all any of the repair people had to do was push in a cable. David Goldstein, KCAL 9 News.